hop has already been sanded a couple times, um, sealed up, finished up with Minwax water-based polyacrylic. I like clear gloss, gives me a little bit more sheen. So on this one, very simple. Uh, when the top is bare wood, orbital sander, just uh, this one had 220 grit on it, nothing crazy. Just to smooth the top down, then I throw a coat on, let the coat dry. And I use uh, 320 sand paper just by hand, just enough to make sure it's cleared up all the way. Uh, let it dry all the way down and uh, make sure there's no burrs, nothing that's going to cause a bubble or a defect in the wrap, and it's good to go. So that's a prep top in my book. So at this point, we'll throw on a wrap. Now, this is laminated with a matte finish, laminate. Uh, I like to use Arlon. Uh, vinyl. It's air release vinyl with a gray tint, so it hides a lot of the defects in the wood. And then it uh, goes on real smooth. So, uh, first step, we're going to line it up. Now, this particular wrap doesn't have a design that's centered around the hole here, so we're just going to do our best to get the wrap as centered as we can and get as much of the graphic of the pool showing here on this one. And uh, once I'm confident that I've, it's where I like it, that one is. And just get a couple pieces of tape. I'm just using green frog tape, nothing fancy, just multi surface tape. And we're going to create like a hinge. Put a piece on either side, wrap it around just to keep the wrap in place. And then, uh, and you use a six inch squeegee, felt wrapped. I like an Ulfa knife, so we use an Ulfa here. I'm gonna peel back some of this wrap, about six inches worth, maybe a little bit more. And then we're gonna cut the liner off. Now I'm pushing hard enough to go through the paper, but not so hard that I'm scratching the surface of the board just so we don't create a line that might show through. And then, uh, Grab the wrap, stretch tight, but not so much that pulls that tape. Let her down. Get that six inch squeegee. And gently and smoothly push that vinyl down and get that first six inches adhered to the top. Once it's there, you can pretty much see it. If there's any, any bubble in there, you'd know it. But in this being air release vinyl, most of the bubbles come right out. So. Once that, uh, that section is taped down and adhered, I'm peel these pieces of tape off. I like to roll this liner up, facing the front of the board. We're going to use the next fancy tool here, which is a 24 inch uh, custom squeegee here. Just a piece, piece of uh, basically plexi wrapped in some felt with a comfortable handle, covers the whole surface of the board. And then in one easy and smooth motion, we're gonna push the squeegee and pull the liner at the same time. And it comes pretty smooth, pretty easy. Just nice and smooth, don't rush it. Simple as that. Once that's on there, we're going to drop this liner so it's not in the way. I'm going to grab the uh, six inch squeegee again and just make sure that that went all the way down. This uh, vinyl is pressure sensitive, so when I get that final push, it'll really lock it in. Just a quick make sure. And if you're using a vinyl that doesn't uh, have that air release technology in it, you might have a bubble or two here or there. They're pretty easy to get out generally. Once that's down, if you do end up with a little bubble in there, you can use your knife and you sometimes just poke a small hole in the center of that bubble and then let the, and push the air around it. 
and shove that air out of the hole. That usually does the trick. Uh, sometimes you get a heat gun, you hit it with a little bit of heat, it'll help draw that out and put a little pressure on it, pushes it right out. So, But this wrap is pretty much on there. Now if there was a, a big bubble in there or something wrong that stood out to me that I had a piece of dirt in there or a defect in the wood that I, I thought I could work out, you can still pull this back up. It's not super easy, but it can be done. You just gotta be careful. So uh, this one I'm happy with it. We're gonna leave it just as it is. I'm gonna use the, the old knife here and cut out that six inch hole. Get that vinyl released there. Pretty easy there. And then I'm gonna use the same thing and just cut the excess around the edges off. Just a real quick run over. This will help our uh, vinyl trimmer clean up here in a minute, which I'll show you that tool next. Just real quick and easy. Just I'm just using the, the edge of the wood as a guide for the knife, so just pushing real gently so the knife stays up, doesn't gouge into the wood. And it gives you a nice little surface to run that knife against. And then next, we've got two custom tools here that we like to use. I'll use this camera over here, I suppose. Um, straight edge, uh, it's a wood block. Got a couple screws in it. Uh, I had a, a friend uh, make these on a CNC. There's a razor blade inside here, and it's got a kind of a depth locked in there. But this right here gives me a determined, a set determined distance. Bring around the whole edge of the board and gives me a real clean cut. So we're gonna do that next. This blade hopefully is pretty sharp. We're about to find out. So we run this along. Nice and smooth around the corners. And this just gives you a real nice clean look and it pulls that edge of the vinyl from the edge of the board. Gives a better chance of sticking in a long, long life. So it's off a curve because these boards are routed on the edge and they're smooth. So. You want that vinyl to stop on a flat surface that way it really will stick the best. Yeah, hold this and see how it goes. Sometimes these corners like to be a little difficult, so we'll have to run that trimmer over them again. There's that. Which is pretty normal, especially if that blade is not super fresh. Okay, we're almost there. That wasn't too bad. Get this guy again. We're going to round over these edges one more time. Just to get those corner pieces off. Now you don't have to use these edge tools if you don't have them. Uh, before I had these things made up and uh, learned what they were and how they worked. Uh, I used to take just a big flat edge, a, a yardstick, or if you had a 48-inch ruler, it'd be a whole lot better. I would just set it on the edge and just use my exacto there and just run down each corner and keep it straight as I could. This trimmer is for the hole. So uh, again, same thing, same concept of just a little edge there so you can drop this in there, spin it around the hole here. And it gives you that same distance. Oh, see, I missed the piece there. There we go. Don't have much for fingernails. There we go. And that's a wrap there. And then, uh, we're going to take that six and squeegee, squeegee one more time and just kind of make sure the edges are down now that they cut that trim off. Really make sure they're stuck on there. Looks pretty good. Again, these wraps are laminated, so there's no coat to the top. There's nothing to do. They're ready to play on. Uh, 
good to go. They are UV rated uh, for three to five years, depending on where you live and how much sun they're seeing. I uh, do not recommend getting them wet. So if you notice a storm running in or uh, if, if the party runs late, just bring these in before the dew sets in too heavy. That way you don't cause any damage. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, these are good to go. Um, wraps are installed. That's really all there is to it. So, uh, lots of, a lot of prep. I had about a, an hour of prep before I turned the cameras on. Just sanding, put a couple coats on, sand again. Just to make sure that top has a nice smooth sheen and then uh, you're good to go so this i have uh not had one come off that wasn't uh from misuse and leaving them out in the rain or something along those lines and we've been making boards about seven years and had good luck with this this method so if you uh, have purchased a set of laminated wraps uh, whether from us or uh, from your local printer guy uh, this is how we've come to install them. Uh, nothing, nothing more to it than that. So the biggest thing I can tell you is to take your time. Uh, just real smooth. If you get nervous, just take a breath. Uh, it's just vinyl. So end of the day, it goes on pretty easy and it's uh, ready for game time. So if you'd like to uh, order one of these, I will put our website down in the link below. You can email me if you want a custom design like this one. Uh, this is the one I put together myself for uh, a business local to me. Uh, we do a lot of patriotic designs, athletic designs, whatever you want. We can probably pull it off. So just shoot me a message, uh, Facebook, our website, uh, email, whatever your uh, method there is, and uh, see if we can put together a design and, and I will ship them to you, uh, ship coast to coast. So uh, again, and I did a couple tools. I'll run through one more time what we used here. Pretty simple stuff, but six inch squeegee. I buy these in three packs off Amazon. I think they're like 12 bucks for three of them. They last a very long time. This was custom made. Um, it is available. I can have more of these made. Um, very, very handy. It has saved me a lot of time putting these on. I will uh, add a link for these if you're interested in them. We can order you one. These as well. Uh, two edge trimmers, not required, but you can make it easier. Simple knife, just make sure it's sharp. A little uh, painter's tape, and then just uh, sanding stuff. So if you uh, have any other questions, leave them down.